Last week in part one of this six part series, I shared my plans to get poison dart frogs to all of my YouTube followers. In last week's video, I revealed my chosen frogs, Dendrobates tinctorius azurius. This is an absolutely beautiful species and one that I fell in love with when I was young. After revealing my chosen frogs to you all, we then went ahead and got a temporary observation bin ready for my future frogs to live in. Today, I'm incredibly excited to share the exciting news that it is finally now time to welcome my new poison dart frogs home. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are once again back at the pet store, and that is because today I am finally getting my poison dart frogs. And by finally getting them, I mean that they are right here. I am so excited. So I have my two frogs right here. This one right here is the male, and then this one over here is the female. Now I know you probably can't see them super well because of the containers that they're in, but don't worry, once we get home, you guys will definitely get a better look at the frogs. It's a little bit hard to even just explain how excited I am right now, but I am just beyond thrilled. So I don't really wanna wait any longer, so we are just going to go ahead and bring the frogs home and get them in their setups. So we are now back at my house with my frogs, so I think it's pretty straightforward from here. We really just have to uh, take the frogs and then put them into their enclosure. So if you watched part one of this series, then you would have seen me set up this enclosure here. So like I mentioned in the first video, this here is going to be my dart frogs observation enclosure. So my frogs are going to be living in here for about a month or so just to give me some time to be able to closely monitor them and make sure that they're nice and healthy before they go into their permanent enclosure. And as you can see, right next to the enclosure here, we have my two dart frogs, and oh my goodness, I am so excited to get these guys in their home, and I'm just so excited to have them and to be able to watch them. I just, I truly am just very, very excited. So as you guys saw, these dart frogs here did come from Critter Jungle. And I know that these frogs were actually kept at the store for a very, very, very long time. I know that these frogs have been doing well for a very long time at Critter Jungle, so I'm not too worried about how they're going to do here, but either way, I would still always rather be safe than sorry and, and put them into their little observation bin. So as you can imagine, the process of putting the frogs into their enclosure here is a, uh, Pretty simple, I'm just going to open up the lid and then I will be letting the frogs kind of crawl out on their own. But before we do that, I figured I'd give you a, a nice look at them. So this frog right here is my female. And oh my goodness, she is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm so, so, so happy to have her. So there we go, we'll set this down very gently and then see if she'll, um, want to come out on her own. And then right here we have my male frog who is just uh, hanging out on the side here. <laughs> this is pretty cute, pretty funny. So we're gonna carefully open up this container. I'm going to open it over the enclosure just in case he happens to jump out. And there we go, he's kind of retreating back into the bin. So to give you guys a nice look at him here before we place him in the bin as well. So. As I've mentioned, this one here is the male of the pair, and we are also just going to go ahead and set his container down here, just like that, and then see if they will come out on their own. Oh, and the male just hopped out of his container into the female's container, so um, there's that, but I guess we can remove this container now at least. Are you guys gonna come out of there? You wanna make your way out? You comfy in there? Okay, this, oh, so there we go. The male just jumped out of the container and into the bin. So now I'm just going to uh, gently coax the female out with this, just by pulling the piece of paper towel here, just so then I can uh, close the lid to make sure that neither of them hop out. Excuse me. Excuse me, frog. Thank you. And there we go, both of my new frogs are now in their new observation setup. And I'm just so excited. These are not like any other animal I've had before and I'm so excited to care for them and to continue learning about them and to get to observe them. I think that they're just 
such an incredible animal and they're so beautiful and I'm just, I'm so lucky to be able to care for these guys. It is truly an honor. So since these guys were just added into their new home, I'm going to go ahead and close the lid now and give them some time to explore and settle in. And then we'll come back in a few hours and check on them and see how they're doing. So it is now the next morning and both of the frogs here are out and about so I figured it would be a good idea to go ahead and try and feed them now. Before we feed the frogs, I want to thank and tell you all about today's video sponsor, Exoterra. Not only are they sponsoring today's video, but also this entire video series. Exoterra makes plenty of products that help make caring for your specialty pets possible, easy, and fun. Recently, Exoterra came out with a product line called Frogs & Co. Many of these new products will be seen throughout this video series, such as the new Dart Frog Terrarium, the Monsoon Multi, the new substratum substrate and many more. I've already used many of these products for my mossy frog bird and so far I've been a big fan so I'm really excited to use some of these for my dart frogs. After watching this video make sure you check out the Frogs & Co website to learn more about this new product line. So thank you Exoterra for sponsoring this video and the link to the Frogs & Co website will be down in the description below. So to feed the frogs today we are going to be using some Hydei fruit flies. So these are the larger flightless fruit flies that you typically see in the pet trade. And then we are going to be supplementing them with Rapashi Calcium Plus. All right, so now that we have our fruit flies all dusted with the Calcium Plus here, I'm just going to go ahead and shake them into the enclosure and then hopefully the frogs will notice them and want to eat. I, yeah, yeah, I guess he does want to. The female's just in the back over here behind this coconut hide, so hopefully she'll notice the flies shortly. I'll actually go ahead and put a couple by her. I found a frog poop. Look at that. Our first our first dart frog poop. It's on a leaf. There's the frog poop on a leaf.
So it's now been a few days since I first got my frogs and in fact it's actually been about a week. It will be one week tomorrow since I got my dart frogs. So since I've had them for almost a week now I figured I would come on here and give you guys an update on how they're doing. So so far the frogs are both doing fantastic and I am just having so much fun owning them. I am so happy with my decision to not only just get dart frogs but to get these specific dart frogs. I am truly obsessed with them. I know that uh, Josh has also taken a big liking to them as well. He told me that he was not expecting to like them as much as he does, but we have both fallen quite in love with these frogs. So like I mentioned, the frogs are doing super well. They've been settling into their enclosure just fine, and I always see them out and about basically every single day. They've both been eating regularly. I fed them multiple times now and watching them eat is just so much fun so I have no worries about their food intake and they have also been pooping plenty so um I'm pretty confident that they're uh, they're doing all right so far we have two healthy frogs who are making some healthy frog poops and eating flies so that's that's the life of a dart frog like I mentioned earlier these guys are just always out exploring around their enclosure they're always hopping around looking for food I see them on top of the hides a lot so I am just so excited to get them into their permanent display enclosure I cannot wait to just be able to like see them freely through the glass because right now in this plastic bin it's not super easy to see them so I am so excited to get them into their final enclosure, both for uh, my benefit because I'd like to see them more and also because I think that it will benefit them a lot and I think that they'll really enjoy the enclosure that I'm working on. Overall, the plants in here are doing pretty good. There has been a little bit of die-off, as you can see, uh, this leaf right there and a couple of the leaves back there, but normally when I, you know, plant a plant into an enclosure, I expect a little bit of die-off at first, but for the most part, they're doing all right, but they also don't have, like, the fanciest setup in this bin, so I don't expect the plants to completely thrive, but for the most part, they're doing good. So before we go ahead and end this video, I wanna give you guys a sneak peek at part three of this series that will be out next Thursday. I am so excited for you guys to see this video. Next week in part three, we are going to be making the background and the hardscape to my dart frog's future permanent enclosure, so if you're interested in seeing that, then make sure you stick around. Around. With all that said, I am going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it, and I hope that you will all enjoy the rest of the series to come. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out, and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am getting so close to my goal of 100,000 subscribers, so it would mean the world if you did that. And once again, thank you to Exoterra for sponsoring this video, and make sure you all check out the new Frogs & Co. website. Like I mentioned earlier, it will all be down in the description below. Speaking of the description below, all of my social media will also be down there, so feel free to check that out if you like. And with all of this said and done, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now, so once again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.